Uh, Hello, I... everyone. My name is Kingdom. I'm joined by my good friend, uh, Mighty Bear, is getting ready to get started on this uh, Week 8 matchup. In uh, Gavri- guys. Sugar Rush. Go ahead, uh, go guys. Ahead. Uh, hold on. I think I need to go. I think my dog used a very last-minute circumcision. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we should get started here. Yeah, it's your uh, favorite uh, cryptic feed here, but yeah, uh, we're getting ready, to, getting ready to go into it. I think all teams are done subs, and if they aren't, I would really like to know. And who are you taking, Kano? I just gotta ask. I mean, you look at both rosters, you see what Sugar, what makes Sugar so good is the fact that they're so versatile. So many of them can play DPS. And that's so good. But <laughs> you look at the side of gravity, Orsted Velzen. I wonder what they can play pretty well as well as tanks. I mean, you look at Orsted, you know, known as it's kind of a meme that he plays big a lot, but his DPS is insane. Velzen charges Gravis like nobody's business on goats, but his DPS is insane. They're both really good widows, Hanzos, you name it. And I think if MPC can uh, win the shield battle and wield win the um, tank battle against Syndril, Syndril, I think that this and game is Gravity's well, lose. I believe. And specs if he gets playtime. Yoink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about uh, something <laughs> along those lines of not to do that, but sorry, specs. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. And I'm also very wondering how the uh, Gravity Goats comp is going to hold up against two of the Sugar Rush. is basically signature of this point quad DPS. I mean, who knows? Maybe they might not even run any goats. <laughs> Me might be blessed and be uh, have the opportunity to not witness goats tonight. Especially on Temple Anubis, which will be our first map of the night. And that can be a pretty strong goats map as well. With all, it's just very narrow. Like four DPS can work on the very first point, but once you get to that second point, it's very narrow and closed, and it's great for Reinhardt to just do whatever he wants. And so we're gonna be seeing some goats here. You think so? You think we're gonna uh, see the goats? Yeah, I've played against this team. They love it. They love the goats. <laughs> they were born in the goats. They're going to run goats. And we're, of course, could be seeing or said the league's resident brick one trick on brick. And if we don't see a monitor, come on. Come on. <laughs> Do what the fans want, or instead. Suffer. Yeah, Suffer and you look her. at the uh, the side of Sugar Rush, you know, Cognitive Pit being such a great widow, participating in the widow tournament, and then just Riley Bad, you know, so many just you could look at this roster and see so many good players that can flex to the DPS role. And they have the ability to play Somber if they want to, which could be really good in shutting down uh, MPC letting Sindriel to really take over. So MPC's really got to watch out uh, if he's going to be playing Ryan at all in this matchup. He's got to be very, very careful about uh, where he positions as a team. And, and to me, that'd be very poetic as we played Ravity last year in the semifinals, and um, I was I was shut down by a Sombra, so to me, that'd be a little bit poetic in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we are just about to get started here as like yeah. we said sugar rush takes on gravity yeah gravity's yeah. five and one for well sugar rush is four and one this could be a this four and two four and two. Be, four and two could be a very long rematch down the line and i th- i'm hearing we're ready to start so. yeah i think that these both these teams have the ability to you know make the playoffs and uh play each other so instead of playoffs so it's gonna be really really interesting because this and, is huge when it comes to the standings. You know, if Gravity uh, loses here, they're going down the uh, the rabbit hole of the standings. Because everything is just so close right now. And uh, I think they're getting ready to assemble the heroes and get started here. And, you know, and if this is gonna, Gravity loses this game, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, this could be all she wrote for getting uh, first place in the seating. Gotta say it once. <laughs> I gotta right, say it once. Right. I'm, I'm gonna try to get out of my system. For the now. record, I haven't said it in around two games of casting recently, so... Yeah, <laughs> it had to be. Before we get started to seeing what heroes they will pick, I want to see how hard. Because you know something I learned recently is that Gravity does not scrim with Orsted and Velzen. Orsted and Velzen are usually doing their own thing while the rest of the team is scrimming. So that could be a, uh, a revelation. Maybe they're not on the same page when it comes to comp. Maybe Orsted and Velzen have just such big brains that they already know what the team is going to run. So it's going to be really interesting to see. And what's gonna happen here. I would definitely be eyeing is, uh, I believe, Mika Mihish. Uh, she is new, I believe she was just recently posted for Asians. I'm not really sure too much about oh, wow. her. Or, I think it's she, I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, very interested how that is to set. It's going to be her new game and very curious on how she will perform our key. I'm not sure. So please do not quote me on anything because I literally know nothing. 
So you look at the side of the defense, Gravity, as they're going to be running the Somber Goats, pushing up right, right behind the choke, and you look at the other side, double sniper coming out of the uh, the side of Sugar Rush. So let's see how this is going to work out. And I think this is really in favor of the defense right now. This is just, I think they have a superior comp right now, and I don't think we're going to be able to make too much win it, uh, make too much room, and going to be able to do much, and I think we're going to have to be forced to swap here shortly in a couple of fights, or they will get first full held in my opinion. Uh, maybe as they're already rushing the point four on point right now for the team, but they are yeah. NPC is very very split right now from his team. The bubbler's trying to get over them. That is very bad. And this goats come by NPC will get Frosty Clive and Bubbers will also clean up Zetril. So this is gonna look like a first point hold. And oh, kind of pit toads gonna kill into Mika Mish here. That is gonna be a very bad thing. And uh, uh, it looks like Dimitri will be going to pick him up. But, yep. looks like we're sticking with our comp. We're gonna stick to our guns. They are gonna stick to their guns. And you look at Bubbers, already 70% through that Briggle. That's gonna be so hard for these snipers to uh, melt these characters once they get that armor ability, even though it only lasts for uh, a few more seconds than uh, you'd like if you are on the side of Sugar Rush. And Orsted right now, just kind of scouting out the team, telling them exactly what they're doing. Maybe try to hack a uh, hack the Reinhardt for the spike hits. Yeah, but hack on the Lucio. In fact, could be big. That's really bad, and this is real pressure that a Sombra can bring. A good Sombra are in your back line, they're causing those hacks. If they're gonna cause chaos, then Cedriel will get hacked. Bubbers not gonna be too much follow up, but Ooh, Cognitive Pit yeah. does get a big kill on the no Bubbers right there. Can. And Cognitive Pit does have to side, so he can maybe make something happen here. Only one who can really get to him is Orsted, and he can't get close right now. And keep in mind, Sugar Rush tries to spawn him in, so this is not looking very good for Gravity right now. And you look at the shatter. shatter is committed, Mika Mesh is taken down, but the E and P have it's huge! It's huge! And it's gonna be a just a clean wipe from gravity. Oh, uh, it's it's strange. It's gonna be coming out! Fans right there. Not sure what the point of that was, but you know, that's the risk of running uh, uh, this Goat Comp, is that Cognitive is essentially free most of this uh, most of these fights, so he will get the pick like he did on Dim Tree that really opened it up for Sugar Rush. Luckily though, Orsted's EMP and uh, NPC Shatter did shut it down. Like we said, strange uh, trans from Meek and Mish, but uh, perhaps... Yeah, uh, first game uh, jitters, but, uh, yeah, well, first game jitters, give, give them the benefit of a doubt for a first map. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, first map, you're learning to a new team, you got a gel. May have been some miscommunication calling for a trans. And Sindriel going really aggressive right now, and he's gonna get punished with as NPC yeah. slams into the wall. He does get the mega health pack, so he does stay alive. As NPC oh, 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 or Orsa takes out Sim Sikafel, or yeah. Sikafella. <laughs> and I, I think if you're Sugar Rush, you gotta make this call to swap. You are you, you can't get anything really going. You got a dragon. I think you just maybe just maybe pop a shot from spawn and then you swap over to a ghost comp here. And it looks you know, like I think it's... yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And if I you're just gonna stick with it, I, I think we're gonna stick with it. And that's coming from a meta reject. Everyone, someone clip that. He says they should run goats. <laughs> I, just, I never said they should win go 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 to Ooh, and cognitive the pit with a big onto the set and frost Clive will get Orsted. Oh. That is very bad for them right now, and this looks like Sugar Rush will somehow be able to take it here. But Cedro is a little out of position, but it looks like they won't be able to give a follow-up. NPC with a big oh. first at Dim Tree with a big follow-up kill. Mercy took it over a res. It won't be able to be punished. Shatter's gonna come out. That's gigantic. Uh, is Gravity stabilizing this right now? I or think this is a possibility kill? that Gravity no, can no. stabilize. Ooh, but Bubbers goes down and Riley Bad just taking pot shots right now Ooh, at the right heart. He will kill NPC, so I think this fight yes. might it's be over. It's just Orson on point right now. This could be winnable. Orson gets a big kill to Riley Bad. Did they just do this? <laughs> Well, what? I mean, if you want to have any two players on point, it could be Orsted and Velzen for gravity. I think that's who they would, uh, think it's Cognitive Pit just trying to take some pot shots, but it's going to be very, very hard for Sugar Rush to come in here and win, bad. as the spawns are very close. NPC and Bubbers almost back to the point, and, uh, Sindriel's going to drop right now. As he, and he will have the Earth Shatter, so it's going to be up to Sindriel to find a big opening, but he won't have a chance to find it, because he is hacked, and it's looking very bad. Well, Grab's gonna come out. Bells and we'll get a kill on the Cedro. Both Reinhardt's are that. down. And Bells gets killed. Noise Caribou is kind of far now. It's just, it's very few people left alive. And have, for Sugar Rush, may have to try to make something happen. Rez is gonna come out. She's gonna get hacked. Cognitive Pit will get a kill on the Dimitri. And Bells is gonna get two more kills on the Seekleafa and Riley Pad. And. Ooh. That's not a good thing. Yeah. Uh, I think this is, might be one of the first times Sugar Rush has seen an opponent that's really. Uh, Fully, fully built. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the teams that uh, they've played in the past have been rather either on the newer side of things or uh, teams that just haven't really gotten their stuff together. But I think Gravity really has their stuff together. Really playing really solid, and uh, 
That's that's really good showing by the uh, gravity. Yeah, what do you like? Look at this gravity roster. There's at least two players on the Ascension roster on here. They know what they're doing. I have played on that team before. I know how good Orsted and Ozen are. They they are very powerful. They know how to run goats well. And I I'm not sure has Sugar Rush ran goats. Oh, before? we're gonna need a pause here. Sugar, we're gonna need a pause here. NPC. Yep, I am on it. Yep, sorry, I was in the middle of taking a drink of water. Well, you know, oh, wow. The fact that they really rallied that together, I don't know how it went down. I think the spawn just happened to be uh, just in time for Orsett and Velzen to kind of come together and take on uh, Riley Bad. Riley Bad looked like he could have won that fight there as he took out the Brig and took out the uh, the Reinhardt NPC. And so uh, I thought this fight was all over to the Riley Bad's Amazing Hanzo play, but Velzen yeah, you know, really locked it down. Yeah, great job by Orsted and Velzen. Uh, I could have made an all she wrote joke there, but I'm not. That was fantastic play, and it does look like NPC is back in the game, and everything should be good to go. And I'm getting ready close from Gravity. Now I'm just waiting on Sugar Rush here. Now, do you think it's possible right now for Sugar Rush to full hold of this? I do not. I think that Sugar Rush has been having you know a lot of fun playing around with uh, teams that just, like I said before, aren't as tightly uh, focused, especially on their goats. The goats are this, this team's goats are just really, really, really uh, compact and just almost perfect from my perspective. Uh, the Sombra is playing really, really well here, and Orsted's just having a ball. And I think the more fun Ready. that this gravity team has, the more in trouble Sugar Rush might be in. Yeah, and when you look at this, oh, they do have a bunker comp coming out. This may work, but I still have my doubts that it will, and I think we're going to see just a big big combos coming out, probably like the Grav coming out, big EMPs, and I, I don't think they're going to be able to hold it here. And, and you know, this just goes back to the fact that Sugar Rush just refuses to run goes. I don't know if this is not their playstyle or whatever, maybe, but it's going to be a really good... Maybe yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can trade names, hey. You know? <laughs> but uh, I think that this is really, I think Gravity is going to take advantage of the fact that they don't want to run GOATS and uh, show them why GOATS is meta. Yeah, but I understand why people don't like this comp, but it's meta and you gotta respect it. If you don't learn how to play it, this is going to be very bad for you in the future. Luckily for Sugar Rush, this does appear to be going out of meta quite soon and they're going to be going for your left side. We're going to go try and take a high ground. Very smart play by Gravity right now. Oh, but Mika Mish is, is very separated from her team right now. As, uh, it might be hard. They are, they do have one on point. Orsa just trying to get the team to back up. Yeah, and it's like a clean sweep. Oof. It's gonna be 1 0 gravity at this point. Ooh, Pepe hands. Yeah, Pepe. Gravity cleans it up. Yeah, that and was. First map. Very well done, might I add, by Gravity. They played that fantastically. Game game. And, and yeah. Bubbers with the play of the game here on the Brigida. Good job, Bubbers. Proud of you, man. <laughs> and you know, this is just, this is just, I think, Sindriel was just out of position here, didn't really help, I mean, not really much he could have done in there, but uh, just something, just something about you having your Reinhardt to, to take a lot of that damage would have saved the, the, uh, the support slash DPS that were in the back line there, and so maybe bad positioning, but maybe we just have really good grabs as well from Velzen. Yeah, that was a fantastic grab by Velzen, I, I know him well, he, he can be known for missing some grabs, oh, I have special terminology for it, but I will not say on stream, but if you know it, you know it. Um, uh, yeah, it was a good grab by him, and I'm very curious to see where we're going to go to next, maybe we're going to see a control map coming out, I'm not sure, maybe see some control, what do you think I of think here? That's I think that Sugar Rush is definitely going to want to see a control map as they yep. do pick Nepal. That's where they're able to run the uh, the quad DPS they're known for in. And we'll see if Gravity has uh, is ready for it. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they know they're going to run it, but we'll see. As X Rush is going to sub in for Mickey and Gordy's coming in for MPC here. Oh, and Ike is going in for Bubbers. This is basically a whole new reset of uh, your main tanks coming in, your off healers coming in, I believe. One of your, I don't, I'm sure what, what was Bubbers playing? He was playing the Brig, so yeah, roughly was, your DPS was, spot. <laughs> at least for Noisy. Uh, yeah, just gonna be moving people around now. Yep, and L Laze comes in usually for the, uh, Laze and Guac usually come in for the, um, for oh. DPS. Okay. And we're just waiting on Ready shortly, I believe. 
hopefully it'll, we'll be able to get right back into it. But what was the mo most notable takeaway from this map? For me, that... Stroke Rush can't uh -oh. play goats. Sugar Rush can't play goats. That's what I'm hearing. I think that uh, it's the fact that Orsa and Velzen are basically untouchable right now. I mean, you, I, I'm curious to see how much deaths they really had that were uh, on them or that was more than just, you know, a certain ult or whatever. You know, you look at Orsa, he was just having fun in that Sombra. You could tell he was hacking whoever he wanted. He wasn't really getting punished. And Velzen building grabs like he does as usual, but just not really able to keep up on the side of... Uh, Rush Velzen's grabs. Yeah, he, he can build a grab very. F oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought I got that. Okay, and we will be starting in. And as you, as I think we mentioned, we may be seeing the quad DPS coming in. Oh, right no, we will be seeing quad DPS. Oh, okay. You're confident. You're confident. I mean, I mean, of course. That's their quad DPS. That's their quad DPS uh, lineup they have in. You know, with Laser and Gua coming in with, of course, with uh, Cognitive Pit and Riley Bad. Those are the DPS here. Sick is uh, Sifa Killer will be playing the Mercy. Syndra will be on the hand, and I'm calling it right now. And do you think that Gravity will be able to stop this? Yes, I, I do. I think that. Wow. Okay. I, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I, I I've scrimmed against Gravity. I know how how they prepare for things, and even if, even when they didn't when we scrimmed them, they didn't have Orsa and Velza. This is the way they went about things. Just seems so like they're all on the same page, and that's what happens when it's a season one team. Uh, that's really hasn't changed. Too much compared to the season before is uh that that yep, very noticeable is. yep exactly there it is it. exactly always says wow. it said it <laughs> we're we're gonna see it and i think we will be seeing goats right or i i i would imagine yep. more well, that are memeing. i believe so i believe dim tree is not known for his genji play uh Hey, you never know. At Dimitri, he's pretty good at playing Genji when he's not being tired. You know, Velzen is a Bastion one trick, as we all know. Yeah, I, it's pretty common <laughs> knowledge. And Dimitri, yep, we will be seeing the Ghost meal here. Somber Ghost, okay, okay. Uh, now, I, think, I think that Sugar Rush might have their number for this part here. I think that this map in particular, there's just so much room to move around, especially that high ground. That, uh, especially Guac is going to be untouchable here. Yeah, uh, and you wonder if you're going to prepare for it. How well gravity prepared for it, so I don't think we're surprised. And Cognitive Pit does give a starter kill on the Ike, and Guac gets a big kill on the Rush. Cedro does get hacked, but it's not gonna matter because Cedro will also gets to kill add Dimitri. So it's looking very strong for Sugar Rush first fight. And let's see if we see any compositional changes. Orset does get a kill on the Lace after he kills Gordy Mac and Velison. And, and if you're a fan of gravity, you're gonna notice that. That's how they're going to win this game, is just playing around uh, Orsted. And, you know, he's still untouched right now, almost at 50% of his EMP from just killing Lays. So he's been doing a lot of damage all over the place when it comes to uh, that. A tr almost a tr yeah, tr pretty traditional dive. It won't be running the Lucio here. Yeah, this is... Yeah. <laughs> okay, we will be running the Lucio instead of the Zen. Yeah, that's... This looks pretty typical, like, minus instead of a Lucio Zen. But, yeah, definitely it's a little bit reminiscent right now, and it's just going to be... Over for all off. Ooh, Riley Bad's gonna go over in there. He's gonna try and get someone, but he's gonna oh, get Riley Bad's low. low. Orsa takes Ooh. him out. Yeah, the Orsa Tracer. Oh, it's been so long. He's gonna start off with a nice two, but Kaimi Pit gets a big kill onto, a, onto the support. But Sugar Rush also doesn't have any supports right now, so it's looking like Gravity will be able to clean this up. Yeah, I mean, you look at the kill feed right now. All Orsa and Vels have been killing basically everyone right now. As Gordy Mac does clean up Lazy, here, but I think that that's. You know, you might have four DPS players on your team, but you don't have both those and Norse on your team. And I think yep. that's as many DPS you want to throw at them. I think these DPS players on the gravity side are better. Yeah, like, Gua, he will pop a resin of Grok. It looks like we're just trying to die on point right now, trying to get as much as we can. And they're gonna maybe get 70% here. Yeah, they will. Maybe 75. Okay, nope. 72%. And I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think Rally Dad's gonna get out of there. So you look at the side of. Um, a sugar Rush, see the ults coming in, they do have that big Hammond ult available, as well as Guac, 96% to his barrage, Mercy ult coming in well, so, and Riley Bad with the Doomfist ult, so they do have a good few ults, about 4 ults coming in for this fight, compared to uh, 3 ults, or 4 ults as well, basically. We'll be seeing the Reaper, but uh, it's not the gear, so I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Horse Ted's gonna get him. that's a pretty Ooh. nice thing. That was, that was dirty, that was dirty, I'm not gonna lie. 
That was pretty mean. Yeah, that I think was... that the quad DPS is going to have to back up here. I think the rest of the quad does, and does go down to lace, and now it's going to be a duel between Orsted and Cedro, and he's just going to back off. He does have. He's like a Nathan Mercy pocket, essentially. Yeah, Brawl's just going to go out. Well, yeah, Bomb will be coming out from at the infantry. Is he going to be able to get anything? No, he Mercy does get really low. Seek Leaf, but will go down. But Sugar Rush is looking like they're going to take this. Well, the kills to the kill feed. The active tree does get a big kill to Guac and Bells kills really bad. And Lee's does get a kill to Orson. That is gigantic. I'm gonna pick it. Ooh, wow. Bells it. And Bells they in. will be hitting it. <laughs> uh, perhaps Bells in wanted to switch right there, or maybe uh, Bells in just wanted to. I'm not sure what the was. What? They do have a uh, nano golden max right now. And there's more ults coming in as they're trying to try to stall this up yeah, as this far as they can. This is a great stall. Yeah, this is actually a great stall. Orsip does get a big kill to Cedro, and he's gonna get a. Oh, almost got a kill on Blaze. Also gets a kill. Are they pulling this back right now? Riley Bat does get Riley Bat does get two as Blaze gets a 40 max. Maybe yeah, maybe it's a turn around they need. Yeah, Upa Quack gets a nice direct hit on Orsip. Bell Bell gets two. two! Oh my god, what is going on? That's the trick. Baby Diva is gonna hold it down for the team right now. Come on, Baby Diva, you can win this duel with him, and you almost had your mech back. 87 to mech, still shooting at Sindril. Sindril's gonna back off the Baby Diva's too tough. You can't but handle all of a cognitive takes up the tree. But they did get a sweep back. Uh, take, they did take it back from Gravity right now, so it's, the pressure's now on Gravity right now as we're approaching last fight territory regardless. This is very bad for Gravity right oh, now, no. because Riley Mac gets a big kill on Gordy Mac. Cognipix get rushed, and Riley Mac's gonna clean up on ice. Gravity has no support, so it's gonna be up to Felsen or Sinfo Felsen goes down. He was picking Cognipix from Cognipix. Cognipix, the Cognipix, pit. I apologize, I have disrespected you tonight. And down <laughs> goes Ad Dimtree, and he will go down shortly. And Sugar Rush will take the first map on the fall. Good on uh, Sugar Rush for really pulling together right there. It seemed like things were starting to get bad, especially when uh, Felsen picked up that double uh, double kill in the towards the end, but luckily, Sugar Rush held it down and took the map. I, I can't believe they, they did that. That was just a brawl. I, I really. This is one of those ones where I wish I could peer into their comms and hear what it was like in there. Because that just sounds like it had to have been hectic. Like, I don't know why they popped so many ults. But, ooh, it looks like we may be. Well, seeing... I, can tell you, I can tell you Gravity's comms if you want to know. They just. Orsted Velsen, please help! <laughs> help! Kill them, please! They're hurting me! That's the. <laughs> okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Snow's coming out from gravity as the quad yeah. DPS will continue for Trigger Rush. Also, uh, Snow's is. Uh, Thug's favorite comp. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of Thug knowledge for you. you. Write that down. So let's see. Oh, they are going to be taking the point first. Exactly what you should be doing on a Snow's comp. And this is going to be really, really hard for. Trigger Rush to break through this, uh, this defense. All May really needs, needs to do is just lock down one character and the rest of the comp may as well fall apart. Yeah, this is gonna be quite bad for, uh, the quad DPS comp here, because you can't really get in there without getting walled off or being slowed oh, in Cedro. Oh, Cedro gets buff. frozen. But V-Kai gonna pick, gives a kill on the Gordy back at long, with Ride the Bat onto Ike, but Felsen does get lazy, but Rally Bat does get at Dimtree here. And it's looking Ooh. like it's going to be Sugar Rush, but Cedro does go down to Velsen right now. It's gonna Velsen be and Orsted still fighting it out right yeah. now. Is there only two? Oh, the X-Ghost does come in. Rally Bat does take it out eventually. Orsted falls. I think Velsen's the only one left. And you know, there, yeah, no, he's still yeah, there. Yeah, oh, there goes he goes. and Gordy back, and Ike shall fall quickly. But I will say... Did I just curse that? Did yeah, I think I just you, just you need to stop doing that. You were cursing this match right now. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I changed that, saying I don't think this comp's gonna work too well against this closed environment. Yeah, the cryptic curse. Forever be stuck on main tank. The cryptic curse is playing Reinhardt and just charging into the back line for no reason to die. Okay, that That's has to happen. That's the mighty bear curse. <laughs> That's the mighty bear curse. Okay, as Zoopus is gonna commit the ult. Oh, Quack does nice, take out Zoopus. Okay. That's gonna be a clean wipe for Sugar Walk. Three, four, Quack four, is four oh there. That's the way of a game if I've ever seen it, and Nelson should fall quickly, but... Okay, Dude, I'm just- Honestly, I'm not... Riley Bad's Doomfist is scary. It, it is far very from, scary. It's far from bad. It's Riley good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. Oh, hey, we're gonna end the show right here, folks. <laughs> yeah, game's is being postponed so we can find a new caster. 
Yeah, for sure. Let's see what Velton is able to do with this mini Oh, but how's this gonna go down? Oh, he's gonna die, that's what he's gonna do. That's a push over with right there. Bubber no, it was Dimtree right there who was really out of position. Oh. Rush does kill Guag, Radisson balls a seal right there. And Riley Bad will kill Orsted. And Sutro's gonna give a kill to Rush. Don't kill my Farah, that's my job. What? <laughs> I think the uh, I think if you're gravity, you need to reconsider your comp. Clearly, you guys are just bashing your head into a wall, and it's not working. What was uh, I'm sorry, the definition of insanity? Doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. Thanks a lot, Voss from Far Cry Three. Really appreciate your knowledge there. As we are going to do, <laughs> the snows are going to be pushed up on the high ground. Vels is still holding onto that mail. We're going to see how this is going to go down. With just the fact that Walk. Already at 45% to his next ult, just means that he, there's no competition in the air. And Cognitive in the Pit just getting free range. There's so many of these DPS are just getting free shots off whenever they want without being punished for it. Yeah, this is the last fight right now. Ooh, and it looks like Gravity may give a flip off or free beat will come out. Grav does come out and. Oh, uh, uh, man. I don't know if that was worth it there. I think that there was a call to swap being main and they just want to pop their ult, so that's my thought on the call. But, well, that's just a theory. A game, a game theory. theory. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but Gordy Mac still still has that shatter. That could be really effective, especially against yeah, Simpson. If they can shatter the uh, the Hammond, there's just but Lace is looking to sneak around with his uh, Reaper here. He's going to try to pull a red gear off. Oh, he's trying to do the red gear, but he's got to be aware. We do have trans here, so we got to be able to make something happen. But he oh, but Vels is taking down. Incredibly play trans. But they punished him for it. Shatter does come out. I don't think it gets anything. Add to me. Just getting really low. Walk comes out with a big barrage. Gets a kill on Orsted. This is looking very bad for Gravity Crap. Gordy Max at half HP. He's just going to hold that shield. Try and do something. The laser is going to go clean him up. Ike's going to just try and contest it. Be a contest, yo. It's not going to matter. Fels is on the hammer. It's desperation time. Nelson goes down. This is very bad for Gravity. And look at Lays already 90% to his next Reaper ult. If you can't say that's uh... Red Gear worthy, I don't know what is. Yeah, it's a very red gear thing. Ooh, and Quack has spelled <laughs> or said this is gonna be a tie series one to one. Oh, oh, and, I okay. think I was, or excuse me, Lace takes out two here. As Felton does get cognitive to fit. Desperation stalls right now. And it's clearly not gonna matter right now. And Velton is going to get very low, but he won't be able to make it back for another contest. And that's the thing about this comp that's so good, it's like, whoa, you took out the widow, super good, but there's still Three other DPS causing a lot of problems in the back line. So that's what makes them, uh, makes this comp just so good. And the way they run it is, is just really, really good. Yeah, Velson, when we played the game, I was definitely not expecting this. But I'll see, I'll take it. Okay. 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 <laughs> you know, that's something that's what makes that Sugar Rush is just so good on this four DPS. Too bad Gravity's still gonna win this one three to one because this is the only map they're gonna be able to run. <laughs> This, yeah, I'm sorry, but this is true. This is the only map they're going to be able to really run the 4 DPS strat on. Other than that, I think that Gravity will have it handled. Uh, but that's just my halftime prediction. What's your halftime prediction, man? Uh, you know, I want to I wanted disagree with you, but I just can't. I, I think you're right. I don't think we we're going to... Unless they pull out quad DPS on another map, I don't... I'm not too familiar with a map. Well, unless they pull it out on another map and make it work, I, I think you're right. Well, we will see. We will be joining you guys uh, at, after the halftime is over. Currently tied, Gravity and Sugar Rush. Oh, we might, we might, we might actually skip halftime. Actually, Rush is in a hurry. He's in a rush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh God! I thought it was my job to make a pond and oh, why won't they let me get water? Oh, they're monsters. I need to use the bathroom so bad. Come on, don't be monsters. Five minutes is all right. Five minutes, all right. We got it only five takes minutes. me four minutes to pee, so I think we're going to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be all right. <laughs> okay. So, I think we are going to be taking that five-minute break starting now, roughly. It is currently yeah. 8.36, and so we will return at 8.41. All That's right. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Is not the podcast. We cannot be that spicy. Okay, hey guys. Spicy. Hey guys. Get a uh, get a cryptic force jersey while they're limited. You know you need good toilet oh paper. My... <laughs> <laughs> That's enough from the production staff here. I'm gonna be muting myself again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Things are going oh, off the rail right now. Well, as, uh, just clear. shots are being taken right now. <laughs>
Wow. Okay. Anyways, we're back at it again. You've already seen two maps. And calm down, Cryptic. I'm trying to cast three yeah. people of cereal. Uh, we've already seen Anubis and Nepal being played. Gravity we- took Anubis and Sugar Rush took Nepal. So we're down to our, our up to our game three. Currently tied one to one. So it's probably going to be Numbani, which I was correct. Pog Champ. Um, Nubani, so I think this really, really favors uh, gravity, especially if they run dive goats here. Are you still laughing about this? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's entertaining. I'm a, I'm a little special. Um, <laughs> I'm a little special. <laughs> yeah, you ha- Oh, that's going to be clipped. Oh, God, that's going to be so <laughs> many. Oh, there's going to be so many clips. But yeah, like I was saying before, if Sugar Rush can pull this off, I will buy a Sugar Rush jersey. Promise you. And uh, we are going to see some... Um, changes here from the side of sugar rush kara comes in for sifa and bubbers comes excuse me and specs comes in for cider as we're going to be seeing on the side of gravity bubbers comes out for Dimitri. or excuse me bubbers comes in no sorry bubbers comes out for dimitri i believe well bubbers uh, will be coming for dimitri all right okay 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 yeah that i apologize i must have missed that yeah no worries and then frosty will be coming in for cognitive pit so Ooh, that's a premier widow pit. player the cognitive pit, uh, he will be taken out. So that is the team sniper. So maybe they're not really going to be looking to play too much widow here. I think they're expecting the goats comp. So we'll see how this how this goes down. Possibly a bunker of some sort. Oh, and pa, what? Uh, so okay. yeah, there's been a, a little bit of a uh, a meme going on between Specs and I. You know, we just like to talk smack. So I'm excited to see how Specs plays since he's a uh, he did so good for high res last season. Uh, cap. Um, Whoa, <laughs> okay, yo, but this is a bitch of yard, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I would say at least one thing, so before that's all I'm going to say. Now it's all back to positivity. We're back to see. I think Sugar Rush has a chance to beat uh, Gravity here if they just really play the high ground well. Because, you know, Goats is really a really, uh, you know, come together kind of comp. You know, you really have to play it together. So if they can just keep, uh, keep going, there is floats. it's going to be hard. There is floats, but I don't know how confident Gordy Mac is on the monkey. That's up. That's what I'm saying. You know, you look at his time. I'm looking at his time right now. Only five hours on Monkey his entire career. Um, so I'm, and I'm not roasting by any means. I'm just trying to analyze. But you know, <laughs> all of this is going to be coming in for Riley Bad. So that's uh two of your one of your some of your best DPS taken out. They still are going to have Lays and Guac in though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Voice could definitely be deadly. This is very realistic. Really it's just filled with weapons. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Okay, maybe I am having a stroke. This is just filled with so many weapons right now. Yeah, I mean, the DPS capabilities, Sugar Rush is so good. Too bad that they joined the league during the, the GOATS meta. It's yep. unluckers. I think Sugar Rush could be in first place right now if it was more DPS oriented uh, meta. And my my ass would be in trouble. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, hey, it was only free DPS in the game. Brig? It's what, yeah. Briggs, Aryan, Zen? Briggs, Aryan, Zen, those are the DPS in the game. <laughs> Jeff took out everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Jeff announced his Overwatch 2, and it's only goats. It's only goats. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting to see here, as uh, we're going to be seeing Gravity taking the defensive side of things, and Sugar Rush will be on offense first. So Sugar Rush really has, a, has the uh, the first opportunity to really set the, set the mood or set the uh, standard of how... The rest of the series is going to go down. This is just after halftime, so both teams have had some time to talk. And if you're currently just joining us, it is currently tied one to one as we get ready to get started on New Bonnie. And we can see the quad DPS comp here. You think we maybe practice, maybe throw us a curveball, give us the, the good good stuff? I don't. I, think, I, almost... I don't think that's the case since they took out their uh, the quad DPS lineup. I think if they were to run it, they would have an Arisa instead of a Wrecking Ball. But that's not what we're going to be seeing here. Is we're going to be seeing the uh, Faro. <laughs> Vels oh and I Monkey. Vels uh, and Monkey. I could actually speak from experience. He's actually a pretty good Winston player. So this is actually not surprising. As we were mentioning, Gordy can't really play Winston. I, he is playing me actually for my Winston play. So you know what? Ooh. Yeah, because uh, I actually didn't know how to short jump. But I have learned. I have learned. All right. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I, I, I learned a very simple thing. Right just kind of scouting out the competition, seeing that they are running. Uh, calling out to everything. So luckily, thanks, thank you, Sugar Rush, for standing right at the door for Orsa to get a great seat. And this that. is a very interesting comp coming what? out for Sugar Rush right now because they have no defensive support at all and nothing to really help Guac. So it looks like Bubbers may just be able to shred Guac along with Orsted if he can get close enough. 
And I'm watching Orsted's perspective right now as he is looking at Frosty Cloud, trying to just wait till they get just a slight misstep to get away from the team. He is going to place his translocator down and just let him know they are going to bottom. Looks like they're going to try to loop around all the way here. Ooh, and Bear gonna go right in, Bear gonna kill Frosty Cloud, and Noisy Caribou will be hacked right off a of very bad. And this is just going to be a wipe for him. And they don't put any defensive support out, so forever down the line, they're gonna have nothing to stop any combos right now. Facts right now, just trying to do his Ooh, best look, to stay uh, alive. Let's get a kill on the on point. And Guac gets a kill on the bubbers. Was I saying uh -oh. something about how they won't be able to support you, him? You can't <laughs> everything. You always curse him. I, I curse. Please, it's a big pull on door set. I am just a curse. Don't listen you to need, him. You need to stop doing that because every team fight keeps getting swinged because of you, man. <laughs> okay. But and, that was just... Oh, well, but Sacred War picked well, up. It does go down to that very bad, but that was an is on... Uh, Velsen is by himself and he's getting quite low, so this could be bad. And a shatter's gonna come out. Back to the takes out Bubbers and Orsted. And that's, uh. It's gonna Tex be all over for now. There. Good arm, picking up. Five takes out Nicky Bush. And we're really looking. Seven kills? Oh, uh, hey, Philadelphia. Seven Philadelphia kills Fusion. already. Hey, Fusion, <laughs> I think I found you a Reinhardt player because we're still looking for one, apparently. <laughs> Start fracking, please. Uh, okay, yeah. Looks like Spurs got signed on now, so uh, only if it can help our team. But that's besides the point. So you're going to see the side of uh, Sugar Rush. They did get off the far. Guac goes on to the McCree. Currently just chilling on point as Gravity tries to come together and discuss how this is going to go. Bubber is not, didn't do a great job uh, hit scanning against the far, but he did manage to clean up his action a little bit. So we're going to see how this is going to be played as far as this like the low ground. Giving up the, uh, again, I think that might have been a mistake. He might be trying to go back up the stairs soon. As the team, as Vels is trying to coordinate a dive. And Wade's already 82 to his ult, so we're gonna see if he can get a vital pick that they might need to win this second point. And Vels, it does get a big kill on Delays, which is very odd, especially on Monkey getting kill on Tracer, but a big EMP coming out from Orsted. And I don't think we're gonna be able to get too much follow up from him, though. And that was very well played by Shagrash, but Vels just gonna go right in. He does not care. And he will get he will get Walrus and he's gonna get is he gonna get Guac? No, he will not. But Bobbers will. And we're probably gonna get a DMAC on here. That is brutal. Uh uh, looks like we're she's just gonna go try and get back back. But ooh, ooh, Orson went for reassassinating. Could've get a bot oh oh, Bobbers gets it. That is incredibly leave staggered. And we look at um Gravity here, very five olds right now and uh, Sugar Rush is about to crack a cold one with the boys with a full six ultimates right here. Ooh, cracking a cold one with the boys indeed. Laze is going to try to be the first one to get a nice stick on to kind of coordinate things. I think that they are aware that is the D.Va is staying next to the support line and always ready for that BM available. Uh, and Laze is getting very low. Going to use the recall, I believe. No, he's still fighting. Brave, Brave Laze is still fighting. And we're going to see what ults are going to be used. Monkey gets purpled in the back line. He may be screwed. Yeah, there oh, comes the out of a private one. High Noon is going to come out and it's going to get him. He will get Miki Pot. It looks like a little big pop coming out from a nice camera. I think I get quick. Is he popping me right there? He was. Oh, that was actually gigantic. That was a gigantic pop. I think that just canceled out B. I think so too. As Specs uh, going to be cleaning up Gordy Mac and Elias takes out Bubbers. And I think this is. Uh, Sugar Rush is point now, as Orsted still going to be jumping around looking for uh, any signs of life. He may be able to get point. close to EMP if we're able to contest it, and it does not. Okay, they will be going in for a contest, but Orsted will be shot down. Most it's going to go in there. This is just going to be a vain effort, in my opinion, right now. Spex is getting close to that shatter. Diva Bomb will be coming out right now. It will get nothing. But Bubber Stone's gonna get a big kill on the Frost Clive right now. Maybe even Nano's gonna come out of that Velsen. Gordimac does get a big kill on the uh, Sacred and Walk. Blaze gets a kill on the Mikamish and Gordimac gets a kill on the Noise and Caribou. Bubbers gets Specs and Crafty will hold. Oh, and guess what you did again? You cursed another team fight. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, I think you're like 5 for 5 now on these, these uh, incorrect calls, so good on you, man. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I guess, I don't know, man. Oh, but you look at this duel between Orsted and, oh, Laze does take advantage. Orsted does miss his uh, translocator and does get a little bit of feed there as he, Laze is going to pick him up. And that's the sign for Melts, or excuse me, for uh, Specs to come in there. And he oh, might get a chatter on this. Oh, no, uh, we may not see sure come out Bond. Full spot does come out, Gordy does, yeah, a little bit low, but, uh, they don't seem to be coming out on the Gordy range, no, not Gordy, uh, Noise Caribou, but my bad. 
Oh, uh, now it's looking like Sugar Rush has it. Lock on uh, wood. Okay, we do. We do. And yeah, you got that one correct. <laughs> <laughs> we got that one correct. But you look at the time, the time right there. You know that was a really, really good I second point uh, for uh, gravity. I managed to hold him off, and even, even you know they did give it up eventually. But only two minutes and thirty seconds remaining on the clock. This is gonna be a really hard uh, third point. Spex is gonna need to have a really, really great shatter coming up if they are going to. Uh, Slow this down. Gordy Mac doesn't have the shatter as he gave it up last start. Switch just switched to Reinhardt. So yeah, Spec should know he's yeah, yeah, it's gonna be advantage. Buffy EMP comes out and Spex just got control all deleted right there. Oh my lord. That was fast. Uh and it's just gonna be cleaned up by Gravity right now. They will get Frosty Clive pretty late and they will be getting the baby diva pretty late. That's always smart, you stagger the baby. You stagger the baby. <laughs> you always stagger the baby. And uh, Specs now just trying to recalibrate with his team, trying to get everybody back together as they get ready to push. Just a minute 48 remaining on the clock and barely through uh, third point. Orsa does take out late. It's a bit of a measure of revenge there. Yeah, but you know, you you look at um, Reinhardt's ultimate right here. He, Gordy's going to have a shatter going into this and we all know Orsa said he loves hacking. <laughs> he does, so Sugar Rush is going to be taking the high ground approach right now, which is going to force Gravity to back up off the point. Pack up two point, and uh, uh oh, Laze is hacked again, Orsted. And he's going to get Laze. him again. They uh, got to uh, back out at this point. There's, there's no way you win it. And they're going to invest the Shatter in. The shatter, uh -oh. And Bomb, it is going to get two. They're now. Uh -oh. it, may, it may not be over yet. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open when a shatter's gonna come out. Flower's gonna pop by as well, and it should be able to clean everything up. And again, I almost cursed that, but almost I almost cursed it. <laughs> I almost, almost cursed it. And interesting shatter by Specs there. He, he knew his team was down, and he's still trying to make a hero play. Hats off him for the attempt, but uh, you know, he, they could have coordinated that with the Diva Bomb, perhaps, and they could have won that fight. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I don't it's think that was not it. Was, uh, and that could be all she wrote! And now this is gonna get a big kill of the sacred wall was here. That should I would imagine what this push in tracks. It'd be Orsen's going in. might be coming here after this Lucio wall. Possibly not even with only twenty four seconds left. Uh Lays needs to get a fat stick and this side needs to be turned around oh, and the wall is going to get a follow up on her. It's just we're gonna it's gonna be a click. Oh but look at Lays, Lays is heading to point right now. Is Lays gonna be able to get it back up? Can we go over to Lays real quick? No, I don't think oh, so. No, no, as, yeah, as gravity uh, gravity does push them back to the point smartly and Gordy Mac already eighty seven or should be specs eighty eight. Oh Shagrush is now trading, but Orset does get a bigger kill onto Ramoira. There's not gonna be too much sustain. And this will be gravity's point! No, you, you may have done it! You may have said it! <laughs> no, okay, come on. Okay. Okay, Bubbers does get a kill on the specs. I go. Uh, okay, I did it. I did it. Uh, okay, hi, I did it. 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 And you know, like like us, like we were talking about before, third point so hard to get through, especially with only two minutes thirty seconds like they had from that amazing stall from uh, Gravity. So they didn't get as far as they would have liked on third point, but I think this is definitely winnable for uh, Trigger Rush. Yeah. Oh, it's always winnable until it's not winnable. Yep, especially when when you're sad, just look in the mirror and just say winnable. I think that's something that uh, every team should do, <laughs> no matter yeah, how, what the score is. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just remember, it's always fat, 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 winnable, winnable, winnable. Yep, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, it's the one v six. You just pop, you just pop your roll. You do it. So if you're on the side of gravity right now, as you go into your offensive push, what could you be expecting uh, to see? More Velson on the Winston here. He is. I, I'm gonna call him the flex god. All right, I'll call him the flex god. god. Flex god Velson. All right. And I think we're gonna see Gordy on the diva here, and we're gonna see Orson on a Sombra. Ready for battle. Oh no, I don't think that counted. I think you saw it. Right there. Uh, okay, but, uh, okay, I'll, I, I will concede you are said one. That was a little bit like too late. I should have said it sooner, but I did get the Velzen and Diva right. So and if you look at the side of uh, Sugar Rush, they're almost running goats. They were almost running goats last time. <laughs> they're running. What is that? They're getting close. They're... What is that? Votes? Votes? Like a pH? Votes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pH vote. <laughs> it's post. Oh. It's like protect the president, but but your president has a jetpack the whole time. Does, so it's if your president has a jetpack, do they need protection at that point? Hey, I mean, <laughs> that's that's, up, that's not how good you're. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer this. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Gravity coming in now, running basically a traditional dive with the sombra. I think this could be really really beneficial inside of Sugar Rush if they can uh, 
take advantage of Lay's on that far out. And I think it's gonna be pretty hard for Frost Clive to really be able to consistently heal Lay. Swear to God, Virk's not gonna miss a shot on him now. But a big hack does get on the specs, that's gonna make a push, it's gonna force him to give up a high ground, but I get to be good and an annoying secure. Oh, but right gonna go down here. Ooh, that's bad, down a main tank. And a hack on a guac, but I don't think you're gonna be able to follow him because Lay's the president gonna get a big kill on the bubbers, but Specs gets really low. How is Specs alive right now? That's Specs, hard talking. Specs, you monster right now. <laughs> Actual. Frosty Clive God. was just not missing a single shot. He was standing right next to him, even taking all the damage. But Lucio supporting the uh, the Ana and the Ana supporting the Reinhardt. As all things should be balanced. <laughs> balanced all things should be. If Tom Brady's gonna snap <laughs> the NFL away. Oh, uh, okay. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> So Orsa 91 to his EMP, and I think that could be, uh... All she wrote. If, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if they don't handle the EMP correctly. Yeah, it had been... Wait, well, I was trying to put Bubbers to Shemaine and a swap over to the Ash probably didn't help deal with Wah, so that would be... My pop of Specs gonna get hacked, Lays will kill Bubbers. He just said, screw your head scan, your head scan doesn't affect me. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be playing confident if you're playing far, especially against Bubbers who, uh, you know, he's just so good during the Widow tournament. Uh, I think that. Oh, did he play in the Widow tournament? I don't know. Okay, I don't never mind. Know. It was Crash X, I forgot. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely one of the best players I've ever seen. Like, he's improved so much. He's yeah, most, most improved, improved, definitely, especially from season one. I think Bubbers is really taking the next step in uh, solidifying as a strong member, a strong starter for Gravity, so. We're gonna yeah. see how he's gonna handle this pressure coming from Lace. As you look at the side of uh, Sugar Rush, almost at six ults, uh, roughly five right now. Getting close to crack your core on boys, in fact, the five four band EMP, I can map. But Lace is gonna get a kill on the I can't I can't even make a comment on this anymore. Because <laughs> I don't wanna curse it. Ike's just gonna be gonna go try and put pressure on the back line. He's gonna go try and do something. Bob's gonna come out. Gordy, it's not gonna get anything. People are low, but I. Dang, Gravity has this. Ooh, but Gordy Mac does go down. Uh, Bubber skips a big kill on delays. Oh, but Bells is taking a nap right now. He must be watching Overwatch League Goats right now as he's taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nano's gonna come out onto. I don't know, but a big shatter by Specs right now. They're gonna be running the Boostio, but if you're gonna invest a bean here, Gravity thinks they can win this right now. Gigantic Antic coming out right now for Frost Live. And Gordy's gonna be a little bit out of position right now, and he's gonna. We're just gonna stagger a baby, we're gonna really focus down Bells, and he's gonna go down. Specs is gonna charge, and he's gonna get Orsted. We're all of them maintaining sound, we're finally punishing the Sombra, and Lace is gonna kill oh, Bubbers. And so many ults committed, only a minute left, and you look at the side of uh, Sugar Rush has Guac with that grab, so that could be huge. Lace coming up on his uh, far ult, and so things might be getting uh, in danger territory for Gravity. Get here. Orsted's on the McCree, and uh, they're getting a little bit tired of a pair right now. And Flex God Velzen on the hamster right now. Let's see what he does here, but he's gonna get stunned initially. He's gonna be burned for quite a bit of HP. Grab's gonna come out and a big barrage. That's. Ooh. Hey, dude, shall I say it? Do I say it? <laughs> oh, 20 she seconds wrote. left. I, 20 seconds left, they have a Bob. They have Bobs. They have oh, they're they're going to open Bob. Oh, we don't know where Bobbers is right now. Where's Where's Bobbers? I don't even see him. Oh, he, hammer work. Where's Bobbers? He's by the Mega. Oh, I see him! Uh oh, <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> we don't see him? Oh, I think Spex sees him. He's gonna go drop a bomb. It, it will be able to contest, but they do have Nano online right now. Lays, he's just gonna go try and put damage in. We're gonna burn Bells in. But oh, but Blaze is taking out. That is very big right now for Gravity right now. Spex is getting close to a shatter, but down goes Mika Mish. Spex is getting deadly close to that shatter. Nano's gonna come out on the clock right now, bad. It's gonna be very deadly. Shatter's gonna come out from Spex, and then this will be a full hold. Oh, no, no. Full hold for Sugar. Oysted, can you get a 6k? And <laughs> rest in peace, Oysted. Elf Elsim's gonna now take his turn up a 6k. He's gonna go for a pile driver. He's just gonna get completely shredded. And that was a full hold by Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. I yeah, apologize. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. I'll apologize. I'll apologize. That was, that was the that kingdom was really curse. Solid. That was the kingdom curse. That was the kingdom curse. The kingdom curse. Give me a break. Specs picking up play of the game. Good on him. As uh, he gets, I believe this is when he picked up four. Big shatter on yeah. Bubbers and the rest of the team as Orsa does fall as well. Gets to charge as Mika Mish, or excuse me, Ike just kind of says, get out of the way and charges right in front of him. And so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, as a Reinhardt player myself, and I, you, your main tank as well, so you know, uh, that charge rate bear was 100% calculated. Yeah, 100% calculated. <laughs> that was the, Ike was the intended target. Ike was 100% the intended target. Yeah, for sure. Because that's just how our Reinhardt's play. We're just so cerebral. We know exactly what's going on. 100% of the time. The 360 shatter always works. Yeah, I well, mean... <laughs> Just, wow. That was, I did not think it was going to go that way. If anyway, yeah. I thought it was going to go the other way around. But Sugar Rush, really sticking it to gravity right now. Yeah, and if they want us, it's going to shake up power rankings. Uh, I'll say. Hey, we don't know yet, all right? You may have just done the curse just now. <laughs> yeah, I that may have I'm curse. sorry, Sugar Rush. I'm sorry, so, Sugar no, Rush. What? I'm sorry, Sugar Rush. Forgive I think me. the next map is going to be Dorado, I believe. And Oh, uh, uh, can someone go? Uh, I believe that's, it's yeah, Dorado, yeah. Come on, uh, forehead. You gotta keep up with the maps, man. <laughs> so, what do you think the uh, pomp difference is going to be uh, for gravity? I mean, they, they were not expecting Sugar Rush to play as well as it did just then. You think it's going to be just time to play Goats on the gravity side? Yep. Yeah? Yep, that's exactly what you do. Fair enough. And we're <laughs> going to see NPC coming in. Oh, we're going to see some Goats. I'm calling it now. NPC's coming in. Brother Five Ahead, he he was just you know I was keeping up with him on Twitter. He was recently just eating Lucio's with water, so he will have the advantage of the, uh, oh, the OG. OG. Oh god, he's man. gonna have the OG boost as. Uh -huh. uh... And I will say, um, that zero I did have shortly before I came in. Uh, I did have milk in it. Oh, dude, what? Yeah, I know. I'm a I'm an awful main tank kingdom. All right, what are you doing, bro? you're actually throwing. And I will know it when you... bowl cereal milk. Bowl cereal milk. Dude, what do you? <sighs> you must play for Valiant or something. Anyways, <laughs> Dorado and Cog the cognitive pit will be coming in for Sugar Rush, and that's their you know their coin sniper. So they will be seeing a Widow uh, most likely coming in for them. But you know who's really good at Widow and Hanzo? Or Cinnamelson. Or Cinnamelson. If they don't run goats, they expect double sniper. But, you know, what, what are we thinking, the guys? <laughs> kind of Goats? And, and wait, there's other heroes besides Reinhardt? Regina? <laughs> Lucio? <laughs> what? Whoa, <laughs> Diva? What? What? Uh, can uh, people in the back uh, do a quick fact check on this if there are other heroes? Uh, hold on, while we wait for word from uh, backstage <laughs> if this is true or not. Hold on, I'm hacking into the mainframe right now to see what overall <laughs> heroes are. <laughs> yeah. So for real though, I think that if, if there's any time for Gravity to make a comeback, it's now. I think Dorado is their only chance, of course, clearly. And if it goes to a map five, most likely, error, of course, it will be a control map. And guess who won the first control actually, map? Actually, actually, I believe it is a payload map this week. No, I... no, that's next week. That's next week. Oh, that's next week. Okay, I you're, got a you're little throwing, myself. You're throwing. <laughs> curse, curse! It's going to. Curse, we're going curse. to Town. <laughs> it's going to Chunker Town. <laughs> Uh, I I will say uh, I will have to step away and we may get Zuby in here if this does go to a map 5 so the what is it Kingdom Force will could come to an end if this goes to map 5 oh no I'm not sure if a world can handle the Zuby King the Kingdom of Zuby I think it's just gonna be Zuby yelling at me for the whole time <laughs> <laughs> That's, that does sound like Zuby <laughs> but we will be seeing uh oh Ike what are you doing on Bastion <laughs> Is this, is this a meme right now? Are they just debating us? I don't think this is a meme. I can still on Bash. I'm watching right now. Orsted is on the McCree and he wouldn't leave a spawn. Oh, this is over heroes besides goats. What is this? Okay, I go back to Lucio. Okay, okay. But uh, who is this cowboy character? Uh, that's that's a weird looking brigette. Yeah, yeah, must be. What skin is that? Yeah, must be skin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, hold on. We will be seeing a protective that president that. coming out from gravity as we look at the double sniper. Or excuse me, uh, sniper Farah coming in for Sugar Rush, and let's see how this goes. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, the plot thickens right now. Uh, this uh, Brigida skin does give her a revolver. This seems broken. This seems fatal win. This seems, this seems yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're we're on to we're on to the game. The cognitive pit's on the widow. He's gonna try and do the cognitive pit like Fangs. He's incredible. Walk is on the Farah. He's just gonna go and try and do something. 
or Orson is getting pretty low right now. But yeah, he but Guang's been having such a great game on that Vivara, so why not? Yo, yeah, why you, not play it? Yeah, you know, if I had to pick a player from Ash right now, I know it's really Ash. God, we can't get pick it's Orsted. Doesn't uh -oh. matter about your brigade or reskins. <laughs> it's gonna get Ike! Okay, I got cursed about who I'd get player of a match at this point. Ooh, Belsan is gonna get on to Vcognitive Pip, but Vcognitive Pip will survive, and Guac will get two, Cedro will pick up one. Orsa does switch over to the Widow to try to contest uh, Vcognitive Pip. Vcognitive Pip. Uh, yeah, As uh, Sugar Rush is gonna roll right through first point. Belsan is Ooh, uh -oh. but he does get Guac! Is he gonna get Elsin will not go silently into the night. <laughs> ooh, is he gonna get... Go... right now, they do get the... Ooh, if he can rest off, but... Ooh, he's on the cognitive, the cognitive pit right now, but he can't finish him. Belsen's gonna be caught <laughs> way out of position. Oh my god, Belsen, what are you actually doing right now? I mean, what was he gonna do there? There's nothing he can have done. I, uh, I, I, I'm proud of Belsen for trying to fight him off. I would've... He reset there. He reset. There's stuff over there. I... Uh, uh, Fester should be NPC out there with a fusion skin, by the way. I see you. Yeah, and NPC really needs to solidify this Ryan part duel because right now he is currently losing, in, uh, from what I've seen. And as NPC is going to continue back here, Glock takes up worse than He doesn't care about your hit skin. Your damage means nothing to me. If you're dead, if he comes to the fist, he's going to kill all to add to Dimitri. And they're going to nano siege your own NPC is just going to heroically charge him back. I've done that numerous times. And it's <laughs> looking like Sugar Rush is going to win it. Pogna Pit is popping oh off God, of three! Pit. Can he- this man be soft? Is he human? How much Adderall did he have? <laughs> How much Adderall? <laughs> <laughs> and looks like the uh, the water Lucios are not helping- Lucio O's are not helping out NPC right now as they are gonna have to come back together and possibly go ghosts to just to try to survive? I don't know. Uh, what are you gonna do here? <laughs> I don't think you can go ghosts! Iguak's gonna get a kill with NPC, but okay. If Gravity's finally gonna start to show some signs of no, life. No, you're right cursing now. it! You're cursing it again! <laughs> okay, and we're set! Okay, I see. We have a brig run trick reformed. He's going in. Uh, yeah, he, Orsted is, Orsted is just con he basically considering the, uh, the left click of Winter to be the shield bash, so he's kind of just predicting that his flail, if you will. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's. Okay, we're gonna see Guac on the Genji. Have we seen Guac on the Genji tonight? To uh, I do not remember. I think he's been mostly projectile uh, far away, so I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but I'm interested to see what Guac is going to be doing switching to this Genji. Yeah, and a Shatter's gonna come out, and we'll get worse by it. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to follow up the back. And Belzen go pop a grab, and Gravity will definitively win this one. Yeah. But they, they did use three, three ults from gravity, I think. Yep, that oh. gravity trance. Yeah, and then Sindriel did commit the Rhine Shatter, so it wasn't a total, uh, total waste. But I think that they didn't need to commit as much as they did. But you know, you never know. Cognitive Pit does have sights right now, so this could be very, very dangerous. No if, and uh, I, I think if you're, if you're a Sugar Rush right now, you're banking on one of two things: Widow sights. Yeah, but, and... but Orsted has some sights as well, though. Yeah, he does, they do, and I think you're gonna count on Banana Blade from Wok. Yeah, and it's 18 to out juice! The Peacock of Pick, it's Orsted. This is looking not too great for Gravity, they are down one right now, but Curse is incoming. And a Shatter's gonna come Big out! Big Shattered by NPC! Lucio O's are helping! They're gonna go in and try and help, but they're gonna Nano Siege right now. They're gonna go try and plow through NPC, and they will laze with a big anti nade. And Orsted gets v cogs in the pit. And Siege's gonna get X Rush, and. Uh, he's in a rush right on back to spawn. No, you can't use my joke against me. <laughs> oh, I will. I, I will use your joke against you. <laughs> oh, but Velzen does take a nap right now as, as Central does get pushed back by it. And he does have a shatter. Break. He does have shatter right now, so... Of, I believe they are still waiting on the Cognitive Pit to get back to spawn. Excellent disengage by Sugar Rush realizing they're down one and they won't be able to win this fight. And yeah, just like Sugar Rush has been playing really well when it, when it comes to knowing when to get this gauge and when, when things are uh, winnable, and I think that's really what's been separating the two. Is this, these prolonged fights always end up going Sugar Rush's way. Oh, oh, is that something like a cryptic curse right there? Possibly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shadow's gonna come out and we'll get NPC, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get too much follow up right now. It's gonna oh, NPC right it's not a Shatter to respond with. Grav's gonna come out from Bellison and we'll get two right now. And, uh, 
as NBC gets the flame strike on Cinderiel, and I think that is the end of the fight. <clears throat> yeah. I almost said it. I almost said it. <laughs> he, he almost said. So she wrote. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> but we do look at the side of gravity here, as they do have roughly four ults coming in compared to the uh, four ults or sugar rush. So things are rather even what? right now. I think that well, the that paint is a very bad trade for sugar rush right now. You're down your Lucio, but no you kill their widow. If they're gonna pop sites, you're ever gonna try and continue to get something here. And Norse said does commit the Widows of Sights as well. Ooh, and we're gonna put- uh, Velson's gonna push Cognitive Pit back, make him take a step back. And it, it's smart. And let's check in this Widow duel between Orset and Cognitive Pit. Orset currently holding Sights advantage when it comes to, uh, having ooh, that, that portal is... lockdown. Ooh, that's a dirty angle. High an angle, but I don't think he's- he's just kinda chilling right now. Waiting for him to poke out his head. He does notice the Widow has changed positions, and he is looking for a clean shot on him. As if the fool is. Oh, he oh. does too. That was dirty. Very good. It's still a best spot for Specs. Specs is going to hit something big right now. Yeah, this is the call to back out. Let's get Sacred Walrus. You can't back out. You are not allowed to. And Orsted gets a little bit caught, but Specs is going to disengage, and he's going to go right back in. Good regroup again by Sugar Rush, knowing uh, win fights over the course over it. And Specs really could have just finished up that, that Widow, but he luckily he uh, turned around because he, he did know that the uh, supports were coming in for to help out Orsed. So he turns around, backs out, goes right back to his team. With just over a minute re left, what are you thinking if you were Sugar Rush right now? Ooh, that is a good headshot. Uh, look at the ults. I think you're gonna have to rely on Zetral to hit a big shatter, big nano up follow, maybe even electric cowboy right here, and just big nano. Zetral will go in for a shatter. He, I don't know how much he got, but MPC I think with a big follow up there. And they train Reinhardt's right now. That, this is always a favor. I have a defense right now, but Guac gets a big kill on the Ike. Guac gets a kill on the Rush. Guac is carrying this team right now. In this team fight. I am going to jinx it so hard. Orson gets a big kill on his specs. Take him out of the back and out. Guac gets Melvin. Oh, Guac is actually insane right now. NPC is going to come back and he's going to hit Blaze. Are you kidding me, NPC? Dimtree's currently one. All he needs to do is pull up a melee. Oh, but Brig gets a selfie oh, and Brig back. Gets, oh, Cedro and Vicog to the pit are doing so good right now. It's just Ike right now, and I don't think he's going to be able to get back. I jinxed it again. And are we going to even be able to get on car? Yes, no, so Moby Beam's going to come out from Sacred Walrus. It is just going to be very bad right now. Grab's going to come out. Uh, high noon's being popped. It's gonna be a very much of this opening. Oh, and it will get NPC. He could hold a shield at Dimitri. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna go try and make a hero play right now. Worse than gets a kill on the sacred. And it should be Sugar Rush. Every specs will throw the bomb. Try and come out of spawn. Uh, Ike will be able to out there. It's just rushing. Ike, we're doing everything ever can to keep it alive. A rush does go down. Ike goes down. Oh my god, the Vader's cat Matt, and I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did just count that in overtime. Now, they had a roughly three and a half minutes, almost four minutes to push that through point, and Gravity finally locked things down and started playing a lot better. But roughly, but they do get uh, the overtime push and roughly secure a third point on that map. So what we're looking for now as uh, Cryptic wets his, wets his whistle here is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> you can be as creative as you want, but it's probably going to be... Yeah. Creativity in Overwatch? In creative fun cops? King, nah. I, think you're delu I think you're delusional right now. Yeah, are, you, just... are you high on the marijuanas? You know I don't smoke the love, the devil, the, the uh, <laughs> anything like that, my friend. I'm, I just drink my milk and drink my water and have a good old day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna see some double cypress coming out. And we're go I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go goats. I think it's happening. I I, I think it is. Uh, Possibly. Okay. If you look at the side of Sugar Rush, they are going to be running Tyler in the Pit on the Widow and Guac on the Ash. Guac's been really all over the place on what he's been playing, so I'm excited to see his Ash because he's been playing so well on all the other characters. Oh, what? oh my god. Some big, some big bobs, you know what I'm saying? That's I, I do I like big bobs. Big bobs. That's yeah, and, and I can't really lie about liking big bobs. <laughs> so Bells and Norse do go on the double side. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're gonna see. Uh, I'm very curious to see how Bells is gonna play on this Hanzo right here. I, I think all my time. I'm sorry, it's got a poor, so out of shape. And oh my God, Orsa, can you let me try and come up with a sentence here? Mekong the pit goes down very early in the fight. So I'm just gonna go try and have a couple shots in there, try and make something happen. 
you know, it's just gonna be pushing the car, taking space. And yep, as, as Sugar Rush does get down and rotate very, fairly early here, as Sindri will take in the offensive position, but does get slept. And uh, Zara uses her friendly bubble on that, so NPC's gonna back up a little bit, try to stabilize. It's an like, Elsin almost taken down there. But Orset gets a big kill on the Gwok. That, you know, you may say this seems just a ghost one trick pony, but no, they can do it all right now. I can't think of any gun they can't run. We see them on dive, we see them on double sniper, we see them on ghost, and they did two out of the three pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is rather early right now. I think Velzen and Orsted understand that this is uh, essentially up to them, and it's especially up to how well their healers can keep them alive. So I think that the way they're playing is rather, you know, I always have my my uh, healers inside so they can heal me. As Orsted is staying up by the cognitive pit. And that, that sounds like a too good. Uh, for Sugar Rush, but v kind of is also going to get down Velsen, he's going to take down both of the DPS players from Gravity single-handedly, and he's going to take down the main tank as well. And, uh, don't think he's going to get anything else? Well, for yeah. now. But, but did, did you notice that Guac did switch off the Ash to go to the Genji? And, uh, I think that could be interesting, as Velsen goes to the Hammond, and, uh... Flex Genji... God Velsen. What is, what is this comp right now, Ryan? Oh, okay, okay, and yeah. The... Okay, uh, yep, I apologize about that. Moving to Let's see how NPC is going to play this. He does have Shatter, and, uh, oh, he's gonna take a nap, and I think this might be a free Shatter. Yeah, but Zero oh, does, does it. Block. He was delayed one time, and, uh, I think that's a good story. How did he that? Yeah, I don't understand how he got, Zero got that, sh that, uh, the charge through, but unfortunately he does, or, uh, excuse me, uh, I should say we take it down and that'll be the end of the fight. With only a minute 45 remaining on the clock, this could be uh, getting to panic time. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we're in panic time and, you know, we talked about how well they were running this up and things are kind of staggering out right now. Those and he's on the ham and I, I said I really want to hear my comms right now. I'm like, I think they're, they may be in a little bit of panic mode. Those is going to go down, I think, right now. Oh no, he barely gets away. They had two people on him. Walk it and laser are getting a little bit low, but I don't think it's anything too too worrying yet. Those is gonna come in, he's gonna go into my mind, he's gonna go try and make something happen here. He's trying to get on specs, but nothing's gonna happen. Oh, Cedro is so getting low. Thrown, but I don't think we're gonna be able to finish him off. And he's gonna have shatter oh, but before NPC. This could be bad for gravity for right now, but that means it's gonna go really well for Rev now. A beat will come out. Rob, I huge block. Oh, oh and a big shot by NPC. Oh, NPC, that was gigantic. Man, a hero, hero heart there from NPC as he manages to uh, take advantage of the fact that the Ryan was a bit out of position after committing that shatter. And X Rush does take out Leia's, and so they the fight will continue with just under three minutes remaining in the second push, uh, or excuse me, the first push of gravity. This is looking, uh, I'd say we're making some gravity right now. I think you're, you're out of a panic mode, or at least a little bit now. You should focus on the game. Gotta go, go for clear comms if a nano blade's gonna come in. Orson's gonna give me cargo and pit and plays, but Guac is gonna get Ike, it's neutral's gonna get NPC, and it's gonna send gravity packing. That was a very good call on gravity, but in my opinion. No. Orson's on an insane flank right now, I'm not sure. What he's trying to do, and everyone sees him now, so he knows yeah. he is in trouble. <gasps> oh, and he kind of pits, oh. gonna shot him down. Interesting, Relzen right now is kind of just. That's right, gonna get a free push out of that. Their whole team is rather split. They have three working on Velzen and three on cards, so maybe that was the point. But we're gonna see as Velzen might be looking to use his ult now as he's going to charge. If he kind of pit, he's gonna get him a half low, and I think he made the here, and he will. Oh, but... double! <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about. Velzen, V-Flex God. V-Flex God doing his best Yeetle impression as he takes out roughly three on that fight. And Guac now going to be taken Ooh, out as well. Guac's in danger next. Oh, never mind. Oh, there Ooh, he goes. Oh, he's going to get him Guac too. Oh, is he going to give me Cognitive Pit V2? Oh, Electric Brutal though. No, he will not. Oh. Uh, yeah, and I think Gravity... I don't think Shigurash is going to have a chance to get out. I think Gravity got his second point right here. You know, personally, I think this might be the key. To, uh, securing this map is just Velzen is playing super What a big shatter by an NPC! By an NPC on the big ground. Big Pit does get a kill on a Velzen, but it doesn't matter. And two minutes? 
Yeah, we all we just saw how hard this point is to take. So if they yeah. can take it fast, yeah, all gravity be really has is the uh, is almost both support ults compared to Central with this big shatter opportunity as well. Oh my goodness! So calling the pit just switches off the widow, gives up the widow all together, and goes uh, Reaper. Great, great heads up play there, knowing that Belzen is disrupting the uh, all the all the sniper spots. So calling the pit will take advantage of that and go Reaper. That is risky by opinion, because if that's going to open up Orsted, he's a very good winner. And now Belzen, now going back to spawn, he's going to switch to a different character. He is going to be playing uh, Eva here. Orsted on the uh, McCree. He switched off to Genji for a moment there, but he is on the McCree now. Uh, I have not seen the Orsted Genji, I don't believe. No, we won't be seeing it here today, unfortunately. Orsted's going to be on the McCree. Eva, though, I have never seen it before. Well, I'm excited to see how this one's gonna pan out. Dimtree, 85 to that grab. That could be a game winner. Seeing on the side of yeah. uh, uh, it was a super game. Oh, Shadow's gonna come out. Uh, oh, that was a very excellent time. Now we a barrier, and oh my God, who is that? Like just threw a little bit right there. He pooped the McCree directly into the team. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be, be a reset. Yikes. Yeah, that's a yikes for me, dog. Well, uh, so Sacred Walver is coming up on his tra his beat just in time for Dimtree's uh, grab. They do have NPC 90% to a uh, shatter, and Extra still been holding on to that nano. So we're gonna see what exactly can happen here. It's, you know, look at the side of Sugar X. They did commit a lot of ults in that previous fight. And another thing, tonight, we are now in two fight territories, depending on how this fight goes. If it gets really long and drawn out and scattered, this could be last fight right here. But a big anti gets two people. And they won't be able to get any follow-up from it, but it will solve them out a little bit, and I think we may, they may not get an extra fight. This is do or die, or we're going to get a block. That is incredibly bad. And v cognitive pits in the back line, try to cause a little bit of chaos. Orsteps going in for it. Spex is going to knock him down. Gigantic play. Reeves is going to come out, grab out from Dimitri right now. And we're just going to push back. Cedro's out of position. He's going to get caught, but he lives. And v cognitive pits is going to get two. This is Can incredibly bad. To them? I Can think he may have. Oh, that uh -oh. is a very, and this is now very bad for gravity. And it looks like NPC may go down here. He will. Bells and not Dimtree, I mean. At Dimtree, he could go down here, but he won't. We're gonna play so aggressive here, and I love it. Quad gives Ike. I don't think we're gonna be able to touch. I don't I think care. I'm gonna be it. Sugar Rush, out of nowhere, beating the top dogs. And I'll keep my word, I will buy a Sugar Rush jersey. No doubt about it. I will keep my word, and I do apologize. Uh, for doubting them because they just came in here and wrecked house. Uh, or you could say they wreaked havoc. What is that? No, that doesn't have anything to do with that. No, 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 no. It doesn't work here. But, you know, that, uh, wow, that was cryptic just great overall play. for any uh, copyright infringement that he has just <laughs> put in this last moment there. Uh, oh, no, I was making a con about. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Nerdle will feel free to have me. <laughs> yeah, dude, he can have me. <laughs> and he'll probably bully me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, so, I'll you know, expect take, to take no credit away. Sugar Rush really came out here yeah. and earned it. You know, uh, we're saying Velzen, you know, the whole team for Gravity played really, really well, but Sugar Rush made some bad boys. And uh, Kingdom, some, I'll, some... be, I'll be waiting for a picture of you wearing that Sugar Rush jersey. <laughs> no problem, dude. They have, I, I dig the jersey. I'm not a huge fan of the font, but I like the logo a lot, so no, no worries. But uh, yeah. thanks so much for joining us. As it is three one, Sugar Rush over Gravity, and don't forget to join us next. Or excuse me, on Monday tomorrow night for the Iris Podcast, brought to you by Ski Free Yeti and Huggington. Yeah, he's just an yeah, all around great guy. Yeah, Sugar Rush and uh, excuse me, Polo Cup would probably disagree with you there, but uh, yeah, sure, yeah, <laughs> and we disagree about my casting as well. <laughs> oh, I wish I had my. Uh... I would like to say I'd wish I actually had my uh, camera right now so I could give you a wonderful <laughs> salute and dab. <laughs> oh, dab, yeti dab. Uh, Thanks, anyways, you. though, we here at the uh, Tranquility Stream would like to wish everyone who stopped by a great evening. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure of the game that will be going on for next week. Does anyone else know? I think it's uh, Meta Rejects and um, Wrecking Crew, I think. Meta Rejects and oh. Wrecking Crew. Oh, that is a big pog. We will be seeing a uh, very good game for next week then. 
Um, yeah. But anyways, all of us here would like to say thank you for watching. Give a wonderful follow to our casters at Kingdom OW and at I Forget My Account. Uh, if you enjoy Bronze Reinhardt play that <laughs> slightly ends up in Diamond for Cryptic's case, then follow that I Forget My Account. It's a big pog. Yeah, and if you want to see Bronze Reinhardt uh, somehow got into Masters, you go see my. <laughs> one of the same man one of the same <laughs> but anyways yeah. uh, we from Trank Team would uh, like to wish you guys a good night Cryptic Force and Cast signing out have a good one yep